if they come close enough, I'm going to shoot one of these Schultz because they're perfect eating. So they got about 50 more yards to go, and I'm going to take one of them. shot because I don't want to chase one of them into that thick stuff. exactly what I would have liked to have had and well we've been hunting hard all week long Chris and I and uh, we just haven't been able to get a plan to come together and Jim Hall was kind enough to invite us to his ranch and, and give his ranch a try so Mark's gonna film Chris tonight because Mark got his turkey and I decided I was gonna try and film myself and and uh, we cornered the road hoping to draw him to us because that gun's got open sights and I didn't think I was comfortable with a hundred yard shot so I elected to let him get a little bit closer and I let him come right up on me and I I didn't necessarily want the biggest pig because when it comes to eating these pigs these Schultz these young pigs are they're just awesome eating I'll tell you there's nothing better than one of these little Schultz to eat so Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Jim. I can't be more excited than I am right now. Stay tuned. There's more Tucker time coming up. Sure. 
Boom, baby. Yeah. Man, I got the shivers bad. I'm gonna give him some time, but I know I seen him drop right over there. And I'm shaking up. I'll tell you what. I could see his horns, but he wasn't very big. And like I said, filming yourself isn't easy. And I'm also a meat hunter. So passing up this deer, he's a good size to fill a doe tag with. Um, and I'm filming myself and that's not easy. So that's why I shot that deer. My first deer on film, filming myself. I couldn't hold back any longer. Yeah. It's a cold morning. It's October the 25th. Archery season opened October the 13th. So I've been hunting two weeks, setting up, filming. I've had tons of close encounters. Couldn't get nothing in close enough. That deer was close enough. And I'm tired of not shooting any deer. Bleeding pretty good. I got pretty good chance of finding him. I'm pretty sure he's down. I got a lot of blood, even though I hit him back a little bit. We'll see. I think he's going to be laying right up here. Yeah, there he is, right there. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yep, just what I thought. Perfect, perfect freezer deer right here. See my shot came out the other side. All right, baby, I got him. He's not the biggest deer in the world, but he's per he's exactly what I was looking for for freezer meat. He's a good hundred pound deer or so, and uh, I'm thinking that all this setting up. Hopefully, I got him on film. I don't know till I get back home, but. I nailed him, got him pretty good, he didn't go but maybe 40 yards and piled up right here, but I'm not too disappointed at all, film or no film. I've been hunting hard for a couple weeks now and filming myself, setting it up, carrying all the gear, it's not always easy, so I hope I got something on film to show you, and uh, for right now I gotta drag this deer over back on our property. That's a nice sized deer right there for, for the freezer. Okay, I got him back over here. Um, he's a dandy in my eyes. I had a great time hunting him this morning. It was a nice cool morning. I had a little six point come through. I wish he had given me a shot. I might have taken him. But uh, as you can see, he's just got a little broken off spikes here. So in New York, I can use my doe tag on him. I did hit him a little back but I caught the back part of the lung and blew out the other side. He didn't go but 40 yards and pile up. He sure isn't the biggest deer in the world, but he's perfect for the freezer, and I'm, I couldn't be more pleased this morning. I've been setting up, setting up. Finally, a plan came together, but uh, it's time to get this boy tagged up and in the freezer. Hope you had fun. Three.